so I probably should read the full title. It's not bad. It's Revenge of the Bride of Plankton's Other Brain. I hope this move is good. And 40,000 shinies. Hello, sir. May I help you? One movie ticket, my good man. Yes, sir. 40,000. That's, that's pretty good. Yes, it's the concept art. Who would have thought? And that's what all these movie theaters are nowadays. It's all the places that show off to people with concept art that they, you know, they couldn't put anywhere else. So you have a giant mechanical Squidward in the uh, game. However, there is a giant mechanical robo Squidward in the Game Boy version of this game. Uh, SpongeBob and Mermaid Man costume. SpongeBob and a Caveman costume. This is where alternate costumes. Uh, nice little concept art for Sandy's Dome. That's what that is. Nice little concept art for Sandy Mountain. 5-0. This is... How is this wrestling? How is there a school wrestling? This is also... Before, she's just riding her tail. However, in the game, she has our purple shell. More concept art from Rock Bottom. See how much more buildings there are in this time than there is in the real game. I guess this hints at the robots are going to be more um, fish like and less just pure robot like. Yeah, I think there was even the, it was supposed to be more of a hybrid, but it turned out more or less just be pure robots. These guys. Oh, there's only two. And that's the concept of that. Or the robot dude. This less he doesn't have much of a robot design. Nice like robot, uh, cowboy design. Looks kind of fun. Who's Kiwi? Maybe the beside of a dude too. Oh, he, he might be the rain cloud dude. He's rain cloud dude. See, he doesn't have the hat. UFO is painted. The nice little colors. He didn't do. He is. He. That's mostly his final design. Uh, ah. See, he is not. There's more. More togetherness. With that. He also looks like he's holding hands. That just part of his thing. The floating one's definitely got her. Ooh, wow. The second one. The wooden one. And the stone ones do the same. All the other ones drastically changed. I can't even. Wood. If it, would the far right one be the disappearing one? The second, uh, was it yellow one of the, the yellow goatee? Would that be the um, left one? The left one exploded? I don't know. There's, oh, what's his name? Pron. 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 There's no one about this one. That bite. I guess it's kind of. See, I think SpongeBob there is supposed to be like a size as opposed to this Mr. Crab stream. Oh, look. Really amazing, says the Ram Stamp. That's the purple later. I'm going to assume. It's on a little cave. Unless it's going to be increasing. I'm just going to assume it's that. And that's, that's, that'd be interesting. But no, that's not used to be. Uh, inside of the cave? Kelp Forest. Must, might be a Kelp Forest. Kind of design. What was that, what's that sign say? Read it. Oh, this is something. Did that be Stan with Moon? Gula Gula, that's not Gula Gula Gula. That's just a fish field. Someone's injured, so I guess maybe they had to go and take the person to Jellyfish Rock, and then they get healed, but then decided to have Squidward and have him sit That's, there you go, that's Gula Gula. What was the other one then? I don't know. I also see the robots are just a completely different design. I'm generous. Jellyfish? I think the second part of jellyfish. I mean, the last part, light left corner looks like the jellyfish thing. That's, uh, um, Flying Dutchman's graveyard concept. Another one of that. I like the second part, like you, him running from the ship. 
for like a play-by-play, -play, um, what is it, um, uh, storyboard of how an uh, introduction cutscene to a uh, robot would be. That's very complicated, that's the, the Kubotron 3000. Robot like Ooh, Godzilla. A Godzilla robot. Because I'm an interesting boss fight, but I guess we went with the, all the SpongeBob character clones. And after that. And, oh, you no? Know? Well, dang, we should just get that one off. I don't know what that one would be. No, no, I don't either. It means this could be up to me. You might just, you can see the bubble in action. The cruise rocket, cruise missile. Flying one. Another one, that's kind of the normal one to go just field with the uh, guys in the background. Um, downtown Bikini Bottom. Actually, the mining. That might have been an interesting idea, having robots drive cars into that's cars. Another idea of a robot, Robo Squidward. I never really used it. I guess I had so many ideas, but never, 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 never. Now I'm back to green, okay. Here we go, here's what I missed. Uh Some idea with case SpongeBob. Probably some sort of gag. Huh. That's it. Coming soon! What's coming soon? I don't know. Hey Ram Dude, what's your name? Bill? Hi Phil. You're Phil the fish. I'm taking them all the this is the movie theater and all the classic SpongeBob. But the one with Brad Brett, that's nice. Now some other Easter eggs and stuff I'm gonna show around here. Uh see you we're gonna do a quick montage before this is done. We're gonna have to pack this episode. Explore a little bit past here. Uh it's not much of a like a secret or Easter egg, but we do time your jumps right. Get out here. If you try to push too far, however, past that point you'll be sent back. However, you can go. This is like just kinda of just goofing off here. You can go over that rock over there if you Jump your kind of jumps good enough. Over here, swing, jump, swing, and jump. Here's a jump on this rock. Swing it, jump, jump, and then jump on this rock. Jump twice again on top of this rock. Can I go this way? Yeah, okay, I can go up there. I was saying, I can't go up too far that way. After you do and do your bubble power on a uh, music note, you'll fall and he catches an invisible SpongeBob. And now SpongeBob is uh Well he's got no eyeballs. He's just creepy. This is dude. Now if you want to get this out, just do it for one more time. I was going to stuck. Explode, and then come back? Yep, we have to explode it. It's a run or something. Maybe back to normal. It's a little... There you go. Now, if you set the clock on your game console to a certain date, for January... Not January, for... January 1st, yeah, New Year's, New Year's Day, these guys will spew out a rainbow flame. Alright, keep doing it. If you do it March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, the flames now turn a green color. On April Fool's Day, April 1st, they will spew out a pink flame. On July 4th, USA's Independence Day, we over here. The flames are red, white, and blue. On October 31st, Halloween, welcome over here. They spew out orange, yellowish flames. Hooray. And that is all the dates for that. Now, back at the museum at Rock Bottom, this is just something I found personally interesting. Not really anything. This the camera right here for this box shoots you out of such a weird camera angle. I always kind of wondered why, but if you wonder, if you try to walk over this wall, it stops. You, you can't go, you can't reach the railing. You just can't. Now see here, the, the texture model for the railing kind of flickers when you walk. 
It also goes right over this box, therefore the camera angle, when you pop out of the box, there's a, the wall there, so it kind of gets shoved into the wall. That's why it does that. So it doesn't just go right there, it actually goes up a little bit, because if you try to bowl, you can't. Well here, try this railing, well it just goes through. It also kind of looks cool, because there's a robot down there, that will shoot it upward. So this one, it's got a wall. Why is this wall here? I guess I don't know. Do this, and just go... Ah. Oh. <laughs> Same angle. Uh, yeah, basically there's a wall here. How high does this go? Well, actually... It goes up a good chunk of distance. Up there... How high it go? There... So this is a random wall. Goes even that high. Just randomly, this there's a wall here. Let's try to go straight up. Level the lamp. Yeah, it's just a wall there. There's a random wall. Look at that. How, this, how high does this go? Ceiling. Let's go all the way to the ceiling. No, let's go all the way to the ceiling. Second battle, second battle. All the way to the ceiling, that's a tall wall. And about here. From there, so that's about from where the roof cuts over. There's a random invisible wall. Why? I have no clue. It just. There, it goes from about here. I mean, I, I'm walking forward, but I can't. So. Why is this here? No clue. Do they. Maybe? Did they think you could try to cut corners? And try to jump across? Well, that's just silly then, because you can do that anyways. But jump over here. This side. I mean, what's, what's the point of having a random wall here? I don't know, but that's the last one. So anyways, thank you for joining me for SpongeBob SquarePants. That up for Bikini Bottom. See you guys later. Drugs 341, signing off.